So greetings everyone this is the very first episode of the real impact geeks and i am your host satish waliat and for me it's a perfect honor to welcome my dear friend kushal kulkarni he is a habit transformation and productivity coach but for me he is more than a brother for when it comes to talking about two of us i think there is a concept that has been lingering in my thoughts and i want to share that with you mm-hmm. is that uh, my first mentor he mentioned this phenomenon called diabetes skills i never understood when he first shared that but but i'm sure this concept is going to be relatable to a lot of entrepreneurs out there diabetes is one condition that uh, it comes uninvited uh, we never know when it is it's really a serious condition unless it, it is very too late but as time passes this grows to become a monster which we can't tame it and and you just can't defeat that very easily and why i'm saying that because there are many monsters that l- like just like this uh, i think not just entrepreneurs ev- people from every walk of life are fighting out there it might be poor mindset it might be depression it might be consistency credit card debts perfectionism procrastination all this if it don't work on this monsters it just compounds and it becomes a huge monster mm. that we just can't tackle it so when i when i talk about this monster these are the general issues where people are general public are facing on a normal basis but when it comes to kushal he had to face another monster which was waiting for him and that was he he lost his eyesight just because of a, a very rare a very rare eye condition because of which he lost his vision completely but the thing is he fought that monster he overcame it he adapted it and he became a champion for himself and not he he didn't stop there he just continued his mission to help people people out there to fight their own monsters and the way he took was to become a productivity coach and help people to face that when it comes to especially to, to talk about me he helped me to identify the three monsters which i have been facing that was productivity procrastination and perfectionism the three p's and believe me it was a tough fight for me i have been facing that for a for the last 2 3 years but he was the first person who helped me to really identify those monsters in me and my resistance were coming up and let me tell you he almost surrendered to this monster as well there were instances where he was like okay sorry bro i think maybe i should give you a space but i requested him uh, just be that light for me and just help me fight that i need to win this fight and and this person out here is really special for me he's more than uh, a coach for me he's like an accountability partner a brother and a spiritual guide for me i i and he really uh, hold that hold at that key to tap into my true potential so thank you for being you kushal and uh, i just take this opportunity to thank you from my bottom of my heart and uh, with that i <laughs> i want you to speak a little about you wow the the concept first of all that you shared was a really awesome you know it's always good to you know these kinds of reality but i would like to add few things uh, shortly on that and firstly thank you thank you for inviting on your show as a like it's it's like a it's really a honor to be the first guest of a show you know the which has just initiated by a person like you who is who has so much of talent skill you know the highest potential the energy that i have sensed in you satesh it's believe me when i'm saying that you can't beat me with the energies you know that right i'm not saying that i'm the superior one but maybe uh, god is you know building those skills under me that we get that energy you know by default the body gets balancing so with that energy that i sense from you it's very genuine and very high so awesome and very congratulate very very congratulations on starting this you know show and thank you for inviting me as your first guest and that's a pleasure right that's a pleasure to be here so hi guys uh, my name is kushal and i am a habit habit transformation and productivity coach and 
the things that Satish shared, uh, firstly, the the story about diabetic and make, considering that as a monster, I would like to add something here. Diabetes, yes, it's an uninvited guest. I agree that. But slightly, we are the someone who is inviting it. And the reason behind that being is wrong lifestyle. You know, the mis patterns of bad eating habits. You know, having the wrong lifestyle about your sleep patterns, about the, everything, be it your eating, sleeping, working, the wrong lifestyle leads to this. It's like a slow invitation. Daily, it's like reaching inch by inch, inch by inch, then yard by yard. It's reaching out. You are sending the invitation to it, to them. And when you reach out, like you're reaching out, 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 out. And once one day you just, you are just standing in front of you guys, that monster and you guys, you, you are standing in front of each other and you see that what the hell this big monster is. Similarly, similarly, all the monsters that we name it as procrastination, time management, no proper quality time with family, name it anything, name it anything. These are the things that slowly build. You know, we send them invitation. Okay, like I'm someone like inviting you slowly, slowly. The time comes, we meet those monsters and they are, by the time we come in front of each other, they are so huge that they overtake on us. And then the next element starts coming, overload, overwhelming, stress situations, you know, then the expenses of medicines. Because productivity can have impacts on your health as well, right? So this is something I would like to add. And believe me, this can be worked. This can be worked. Even diabetes can be worked. And although I'm not an expert, this is a clear cut disclaimer. I'm not an expert in any of the fields. I'm just sharing what worked for me. So again, it needs efforts, right? It needs effort. So I, when it comes to me, yes, as he said that, there was a challenge, challenge waiting for me in 2016 and in the start of 2017, the last days of 16 and initial days of 17 were really challenging for me and my family. There are some, who thinks that, like, who thinks of getting visual impaired all of a sudden, right? Like, no, no one thinks about, uh, oh, I'm going to get blind in the, like, in at this age or something. No, we don't give those bullshit thoughts on, into our life. We are like, I want to grow, I want to make money, I want to have this bungalow, I want to have this car, I want to fly with my family. All the this, all these things come into mind. And similarly, I too had this, and really, I too had this thought. And believe me, I was making really crazy amount of money as well when I was sighted and when I was growing in my journey. Business plus job, job plus business, whatever you name it. I was really growing crazily in that. But this challenge, like upside down, life is upside down but again upside down it's okay but still there was a view right even if the vision is upside down i was seeing something like you might see the mountain straightly i was looking from the different point of view but still there was a view right there was something beautiful happening not this way then around that that way let it go it took me some time it it took me some time and time went off like years it's not like one day two day three day a week or months they were like years 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, then 22. You know, these years were the connecting dots. The elements were building me up. Something popped up. There was a challenge with the default ch challenge of blindness. Then next year, something new pops up. This challenge with the default challenge of your thing. These things started building me up in a very different manner. And ultimately, when I started connecting myself with spirituality, this spirituality, single element changed the whole level and started giving me a vision. I'm not talking about the eyesight and it started giving me a vision, man, vision. And with that attitude, when I started moving, I never felt like I was blind because every time, every time I'm visualizing one or the other thing, visualizing one or the other thing. That's like, this is happening, that is happening. I'm going to do this. You know, hope, am I making sense, uh, Satish? Am I making yes, sense? Yes, yes, you make, a, you make perfect sense. And thanks for sharing that new perspective that this is not just uninvited. This is something we are slowly inviting these things. Yes. Uh, really, thank you for sharing that light on that. And yeah. uh, moving on to the first question that I have is that uh, the thing is in 
in all the major forums so be it like uh, be it any any walk of life people of from every walk of life be it entrepreneurs or working professionals or students mm-hmm. a major co- cause of concern that they are facing out is productivity and time management issues mm-hmm. and uh, to be frank even i had a very rudimentary point of view of productivity unless and until i got to work closely with you and i thought it was just all about the calendar stuff the girl, working on pomodoros uh waking up early uh, maintaining that consistency i was that i was i just had a very rudimentary point of view uh, about that and i think many of us have the same perception of productivity mm. and talking on behalf of entrepreneurs especially mm. like coaches podcasters knowledge givers uh, in that context how to view productivity and why working on productivity is a need of the hour okay i tell you something that happened in my life and i want you to connect the dots because i am not a some i am not a special person that happened sub- differently in my life this happens with everyone's life let me give you something that happened in my life in 2018 this was a time like uh, in 2017 and a bit of 18 i am talking uh, it the almost like last few weeks of uh, 2018 okay there was just few uh, some time to uh, finish up 2018 and <clears throat> i was on a state that i was not allowed to take a single leave from my office the reason behind that was in the previous time in 2017 uh, when the you know the um, when your increment period is calculated the the calculation for leaves and your promotions are calculated during that particular specific time i had a lot of absenteeism in, into my job this obviously re, the reason be, being uh, my headaches you know the night blindness issue i had to work in morning afternoon and night shifts so i used to get scared and i was completely in a technical platform complete machinery is you know motors running their pumps are running always with a sound you know boilers fire everything you know it was complete technical part i was like getting scared like what if i die on spot there my <laughs> there were some odd thoughts we just had a baby in my life and what am i go- am, am i going to die there with those thoughts the scary thoughts i i used to, my absenteeism increased and in 2018 like when i have the 6 months of the period to end of 2018 was left i got a notice from uh, the uh these you know payroll a department that uh, crucial if you get absent even for a single day or apply a leave you will lose all your promotions increment for the next year that is 2019 and i was like crazily mad on that like should i work for 180 days without a break uh, despite of just having sundays in my hand and i was like yeah let me take it that's into my plate i was moving 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 you know just moving just working 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 on the other side i had business as well one evening <clears throat> i came from my office around 5:30 and uh, my i just get, got fresh and sat on floor and my kid was playing around that you know i'm seriously visualizing that day because that day was so you know, my kid was playing my wife came around me and sat and she after some t- time she just asked me you should do you have time and i was like uh, yeah what is it i thought she is giving me some task to do i'm like what is it and that day i intentionally decided not to work on anything because i really wanted to rest up she asked me i'm not giving you any task just tell me do you have time i was like what sense are you asking it like look at your kid and i like what is it she said a daughter has grown to almost one and a half year did you notice that and believe me i thought that was the first time i was looking at my daughter with my heart mind and soul with the nat- real eyes that hit me so hard and i was like what the hell happened in my life 18 months was she the same kid i was holding in my arms when she got birth like those things that hit me hard and i was like forced to think okay what am i doing in my life just to make some money although i was knowing that i was turning blind i was running behind money stuff and all that one thing made me to take the decision of quitting my business and in 2019 i decided to quit my business now answering your question 
in a deep thought when i thought on myself when i gave a shots of thought about me and myself what am i who am i and what am i doing like i am a father i am a son i am a brother right i am an employee i am a husband right so many different roles to play in day to li- day life making sense right satish we all have yes. different roles roles to play but as a whole who was i i was single person kushal i was playing different roles and that hit me very hard and i was able to crack that code i, I was working on it slowly day by day but i was able to crack crack that code in 2021 and 20 22 was majorly awesome for me <laughs> you know with the thoughts that i had in 2018 although i never left those thoughts <laughs> the elements started building up now the reason was i thought like i can't be just productive in one area i can't be just a productive father or a productive employee no i have to build myself on the ground level being kushal and work as a kushal work on kushal so that's when i started cracking the code if i work on myself i build that discipline why the hell will i give reasons to any roles that i'm going to play no i'm not going to give any bullshit reason there is always like thought action thought action thought action i started following this process yes procrastination and everything will be the part of game no one is immune to that but the reason behind that what actually works is people procrastinate that's okay that's okay but what they when they procrastinate they work when they decided for doing that maybe i got a task to do today be it like anyone like elon musk or any productive person of this globe right when you get a task you procrastinate it and that's okay but what is not okay if i procrastinate now and postpone it to 3 or 4 days later when that third or fourth day comes i should act on it i should not procrastinate again now this is a this is the problem when we talk about procrastination people like got to come ha baad mein kar lenge dekh lenge they procrastinate and that's okay when the time comes there again maybe something else is coming into their plate or something else has already come into plate and they like oh can't do both the things let me procrastinate again obviously you can't hold on two things at once then again procrastination then third time again procrastination then again fourth time procrastination 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 it is getting piled up in your subconscious mind now whenever something pops up you are like procrastinating first then thinking about that task is it making sense guy uh, is it making sense adesh yes 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 right so that's sense. that's what i that's how i crack the code of being productive i believe in being productive personally man that's a clear cut thought i have i'll be productive as a kushal you tell me you call me as a friend i know that that productivity is going to bleed as a fr- in the role of a friend as well Yes. If my 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 daughter calls me. I I know that productive Kushal is going to be with productive mindset as a father to my daughter. Is it making sense? I'm yes, working yes. on myself. Now the rules let it play on its automation. I'm allowing that productivity to bleed in all the areas. Let it bleed and take its own color, own shape, and own outcomes. Let it. Happen. Now. the procrastination inconsistency all these these elements like monsters whatever you call them they are getting eliminated on automation not 100% i guarantee you no one can beat this 100% but it's all about doing putting the efforts don't like i am a effort oriented guy man i never think about results because results are results pass will be a result even fail will be a result right the result is result there will be some or the other outcome to get the right outcome i need to work in a right way that's when i'll get the right out if you like want to attend like uh, mba exam and you're studying mcom syllabus and you'll say that okay like i'll attend the exam and get into mba college will that make sense no, no. it's it's simple as simple as that you want to get right outputs work on right useful task get the output who the hell will stop you let me see that no one is going to stop you i tell you one more thing the only thing that is stopping people for being productive is them they themselves no one else because i have i read this in the book all the reasons that we sh- that we tell not doing for not doing a task is a lie every reason that we give is a lie we know that we don't have to prove it to anyone we can't lie ourselves any reason i am giving it maybe few things make a genuine you know sense 
but one or the other call most of the time we give a reason and that is a lie so that's how i look into productivity and procrastination topics man yes awesome man i think i think you also mentioned the fact that productivity is not productivity is not all about completing the task but at least initiating them and yeah, that's the that issue. really uh, opened my perspective on uh, on a different uh, mm. part together so since you mentioned about procrastination mm. i have to highlight this term called productive procrastination which you have shared yourself um, in your programs i came i came across this term for the first time in your program so i want you to shed some light on this term called productive procrastination and okay. how can we leverage it for our growth <clears throat> so i'll tell you <clears throat> leveraging i'll leave it to your own self but i'll tell you what does productive procrastination uh, stand and what how does it work it's not a concept of working intentionally it's a process that ha- happens on automation i'll tell you what happens sometimes few people understand and few people like me don't understand it gives the result later on i tell you what happened when i was in college the reason i am giving examples is so that you can connect it exactly now what does productive procrastination mean is working on something that is not beneficial to you at this moment but you know that this will benefit you benefit you at one or the other point in the coming future it's not like you will start building that skill and it will give you results right now for example i tell you i was never interested in study but i did my masters in one shot the reason was i knew that being in you know, a with a bachelor degree in a job is never going to you know increase the stability of my you know increase the financial status of my life so i thought to go with a master degree i did it in a first class range i did it but when i was studying seriously i was never interested in study i was just doing it for doing say everyone knows it in my family my lectures is like just doing it for doing say and i was like yeah i need that promotion patterns so i am taking this master degree but in 2014 2015 i completed my masters in 2014 my dad uh, started a business and in the whole family of kulkarnis that was the first business ever started we are someone our roots are coming from job patterns okay my exist my uh, previous roots are from uh, everything is from job maybe i am the maybe after my dad starting it i am the someone who broke that pattern like complete i'm out of job completely although my situation made me to act on it and i'm seriously like total gratitude to those moments because without that i wouldn't have been seeing these moments thanks for those whatever happened in my peer, earlier period so what i was doing uh, what i used to do in my college time was i was i had a friend who was into business he had his business from years and years so i was always like how do you do this how do you talk to people okay i was always about marketing skills sales skills and all how do you sell sell a product like suppose you go to, go to a new shop he doesn't know you you don't know him you have a product maybe product is new how do you approach and i was always with this curiosity of new questions and new questions and after some time my curiosity built so high that i started going to market and experimenting with myself those 6 to 6 months to 12 months of asking question and questions and questions to my friends and other marketing people what i was doing there was i was procrastinating studies but i was working on skill that would be productive for me in future is that making sense wow yes is that making sense yes. i i didn't knew that how these sales skills will going to help me but in 2015 october when i took the charge of my business october november december january is like i was having rotation of lakhs earlier it was just 1000 january it was like in lakhs lakhs and lakhs i still have those records in my system you know and when i came to know about this productive procrastination i thought like what what i have done in my life being pro- procrastination is i understand what but what i have done with productive procrastination all the scenarios started hitting my light like dude you did this that was not at all needed at that time but you did but in 2016 17 18 that helped you the skills which i worked on to, in 2015 is it productive procrastination i was procrastinating studies which was the need of that time i had to study because i had to complete my master although i was doing it but with a very little percentage as a student what is the intention what is the task studies right 
but I was not doing that. I was working on skills that would be helpful in my near future. That's how the productive procrastination comes. And it ha- everyone does that unknowingly, unknowingly. Few people are like, padhai karo, padhai karo. mom and dad are like, padhai karo, and they are like playing guitar. And they're like, they're enjoying it. And maybe in near future, they got a concert, concert to do it. What if he never played a guitar? Right? What if he never, he procrastinated studies or maybe working on any project uh, and being an employee working on a project, he procrastinated it. And in near future, he turned out to be a rock star because he was practicing guitar and singing. And all of a sudden he got an invitation. Oh, we know this guy, he's play, he plays guitar and singing. He does singing. Let me invite, let, let us invite him. And he got that shot. Maybe he got paid 1 lakh rupees. Do you think that you would, if you wouldn't have productively procrastinated things and productively worked on a skill of guitar and singing, would that person got a chance? Answer me. No, would no. that happen? Yes. So this no. is something productive procrastination happens. This happens on automation. We can't work intentionally on that because we can not never predict the future, right? What is going to be helpful? It's all efforts that gets paid off in the future. That's how the system works. Yes. I think uh, uh, to this, adding to this, I think uh, even our mentor, uh, we have our, our own mentor who always mentions about this. Uh, since he was into music and he had to keep that into back burner just so, so that he wants to work on skills exactly. that, that will secure him first mm, uh, as mm, a family mm. to create a legacy first. And mm. music is something which he takes it as a hobby. Exactly. And I think uh, giving your example reminded me of that. So, uh, so before coming to the third uh, question, um, the thing I really have to especially acknowledge you for uh, especially after working with you, there are a lot of change in the patterns of my habits and routines. Mm-hmm. And and when it comes to changing a habit and routine, I think many of many of us could relate that there will be a lot of resistances that will help us to not go into that, uh, not to accept that change maybe. Mm-hmm. And I want to know from your perspective on how to re-engineer our habits in the most aesthetic way. Okay, now this is an interesting concept. Again, I would like to, although like you can, I, I'm like a Sadhguru, okay, I'm not comparing, but I can't answer anything in one line, okay, I'm sorry for my behavior, but I can never answer anything in one line. I'm going to talk and talk on every concept that you tell me. Is it okay? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's that's how I have built my yeah, I like. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, sorry to compare myself with Sadhguru, but I just reminded like he answered in one of the stage like, uh, I think Karan Johar was asking him one line answer and he was like, yeah, he was asked a question and Sadhguru sat quiet for a few seconds and he just asked, can I answer this in few sentences? <laughs> because he is used to that. That's why Sadhguru is known for, right? So with yes. that, like even I, I am like, a, you know, what do you say? Uh, I like uh, giving a broad view of everything so that at least in some angle that reaches the person. <clears throat> so you ask about building habits in short if you like if i understand your question you're talking about building habits despite knowing that we don't have that habits and we want to build those habits we understand that these habits which we are working or which we are going through are not beneficial at this moment they are not benefiting us in any way but still we don't change now the idea behind engineering this is ask two questions to yourself is your current situation helping you if yes, then please be continue continue to you know be like this. Who is stopping you? Second, if it's not, then dude, it's time to take your charge and change. Figure out what habits you need. For example, you want to wake up early, and many people are like, I'm waking up at 9 a.m. Man, nothing is happening bad to me. Yes, you say nothing bad is happening to me. I'll tell you, dude, you are missing the most beautiful hours of your life most beautiful hour, right? Suppose you want to wake up early in the morning. Now see, maybe you just want to build that habit of exercise, meditation, mental health, physical health, or maybe you want to just build a habit of uh, reading a book. Now, how many things are happening on automation? You wanted to build a habit of waking up. Now you have so much, so much extra hours. You never witnessed it in your life. Now, the thing here is, 
you get more and more ideas over here ideas you can build the way you want about yourself and believe me when you start building good habits it is for sure giving you benefit in one or the other way and we all know that we all know that we need to have those good habits just by saying i want to wake up early it doesn't happen that way there is no magic pill right you need to take that take those efforts beat any anything when you want to wake up early again on automation you have to sleep early again a bit habit has been a good habit has been built for that uh, early sleeping you have to have your dinner early maybe 10:30 you are sleeping at least 8:30 9 o'clock you should have your dinner again a good habit has been built with that for 8 8:30 to have your dinner again you should get wrap you should wrap up your task first maybe at least half an hour before your food again a good habit if you just calculate it backwise if you start connecting the dots your life is getting aligned with your own self and the new shape it is taking a new shape is it making sense satish what yes, i'm trying yes. to say you know i think uh, yeah. the thing is uh, everyone are behind okay this habit might work for me i think we need to be selective of what works for us rather than and, uh, yeah what yeah. i would add what i would add here is when something thought is hitting your mind you know feel like okay this might help don't over judge it like this might help or this might not help why don't you just try it because anyway time is passing right maybe just let's sit now for 10 seconds just thinking okay this might work or this might not work okay satish what is it this might work or this might not work 5 seconds lost are we going to get that 5 seconds no. no similarly are we going to get if i spend 5 minutes or 5 hours are we going to get it back no but no. what what if i start acting on it Oh, okay, let me let me make a plan of planting this seed of new habit inside me. For example, tomorrow I need to wake up. Let me plan how to wake up. Okay, waking up. Let me plan it how the day is going. And tomorrow I do it. Rather than judging will it work or not, I did it next morning and I got my results. Now I am authorized to judge whether it will work or it will not work. Making sense, Adish? Yes, yes, it makes. So that's how we have to. That's how we have to move habits. and there are n number of examples from the history like history speaks man history speaks there are like crazy people crazy i don't remember the guy's name is a hollywood uh, actor he sleeps at 7 pm wakes up at 2:30 am 7 pm sleep and 7 7:30 somewhere 2 2:30 wakes up man believe me what is what could be the level of his discipline what yeah. could just imagine the level you know the time when we are sleeping he is almost 30 40% done with his task now how much and working with this pattern just for a week how far how ahead he is is he from us can you imagine he must have completed his exercise his building his muscular body and we we are lazily sleeping there what the hell is happening here right yes, so yes. i hope that makes sense yeah i think uh... you are mentioning about mark walberg i just i think i came across this video of the, the hollywood actor uh, you mentioned I, i don't remember his name exactly yeah, yeah. totally mm-hmm. maybe if i remember some day i'll just make yeah, a mark I, in my life yeah his name i think is uh, mark walberg so, okay i think yeah I, I, as long as i remember his name starts with j i think but i'm sorry uh, I, what yeah. i mean to say is the person exists <laughs> okay yeah the person exists yeah okay. yeah, yeah it can be done amazing man uh, thank you for sharing that perspective and uh, one more thing i have to acknowledge is that one of the biggest breakthroughs that i had after working with you was uh, so i am an aspiring coach and i had this vague idea in me that how i should deliver my program mm. and i was very confident about that idea but i was very clueless about the execution of it and i i was completely pointless how to make it a reality mm-hmm. and but with your help those ideas uh, became solid action plans and things are started uh, things have started coming to place uh, just like this show <coughs> this was mm-hmm. an idea which uh, which was which came in the last 21 days itself and mm-hmm. and look at this and now it's already happening and uh, i really have to thank you for that and in a nutshell if you have to advise anyone out here on how to change your idea into an action mm-hmm. uh, how would be that in a simple framework okay 
So what I would suggest here is, if you got an idea inside your mind, that means your mind is really working well, right? First, first point. Now, when your mind is really working at that level that it is creating an idea inside it, why to give shit on losing it? Why don't you just act on it? Now, there are n number of plans to work on it. Why don't you just give yourself five minutes of time every day, five minutes to develop that idea? Anyways, you're not working it, right? Why don't you give it a chance, right? Giving five minutes of time, maybe you create that flow state and that idea is really, who knows, like you have an idea who, which is going to change the whole world. We never know our potential, right? Unless and until we start working on it. Start working on it. Maybe fifth day, on working just for five minutes, on fifth day, you have a very major breakthrough just because of that idea. And everything is like changed in moments. Everything. And with that, you got that motivation. You got, you created your own motivation. You're not relying on motivation that is that most of the people find outside them. You created your own motivation, right? That is in so inspiring. That is making you to take more and more action. Now, maybe 10th day, a level up breakthrough happened. What happened last week, a next level breakthrough happened. Again, your life is changing, right? So just five minutes working on that five minutes because I think people even procrastinate work, procrastinate working for five minutes as well. But as I said, really, when your mind is creating that idea, that means your mind is working. You are a very skilled person. You are a very, you know, blessed person. I, I must say. Now, I just leave it to you. You just want to destroy that blessings in just by procrastinating things or just losing out the grip over it, or you take the charge and start working on it. Now you decide. No one is coming to take charge of you every time. We are not kids, right? We are grown up. We need to take our decisions. So that's what I would add on this. Like, start working on it. Don't, again, don't, judging should not be the plan in the process. Let the process judge, it, judge itself on its own. We are not authorized to judge anything. Put your efforts. Don't work on the results. Put, work, put, put efforts, work on your efforts. And as I said, results will be results. Whatever you study, you'll get your marks. Hope that makes sense again. Yes, yes. Awesome. And thank you for really uh, elaborating on that fact. So if if you're wondering about uh, what am I talking about this 21-day program, so Kushal is doing a 21-day exclusive productivity workflow uh, challenge. It's called the productivity workflow challenge which lasts for 21 days and uh, believe me, your uh, your perspective on productivity will be completely changed altogether and you will understand the fact that it, this is something you really need to work on. And I have to thank you for, that, for, for creating such an amazing program. And if you want to share a bit about this program, about who is it for and what uh, they can expect at the end of this program. Uh, can I share? Can you share a little more details about okay. this? Okay. So first, answering the first question, who this program is for? This program is only purely for action takers, because I wouldn't allow anyone to enroll in my program who is not ready to take the action. Because I say this in my class, I have said it tons of time in my uh, said it tons of times in my class as well. You know it very well. I'm feeding the food in your mouth, right? I'm really literally feeding the food in your mouth. Now, if you tell me that I can't achieve, then please get out of my program. Simply get out of my program. Because I'm sorry for being hard, but please tell me the fact that who should achieve? Mouth is here. The food is in your mouth. If I achieve, is it going to get into my stomach and give the energy? No, right? No. What I mean to say here is everything is set, but action is required. The achieving action has to be taken by you itself. I'm ready to feed the food. No one will do that. I mean, I'm not telling that I'm the only one doing it. Many people must be doing that. We, we should be appreciating the efforts that people are doing it. I'm li literally, you know, keeping the food ready in front of you. And some of the times I'm feeding you as well. Like, like a mother, father, they do to their kids. Now, if you don't, if you tell me like you are not ready to act on it, not ready to achieve, boss, 
leave about me god can't help you god can't help you so this program is for real action takers if you want to take charge of yourself come in and see the magic getting unfold okay i bet you that now the design the program has been designed in such a way that three things will be covered in it planning implementation and organizing these are the three things which i have covered very intentionally why because the whole game revolves around these things people are good in planning they are bad in implementation people are bad in, bad in implementation but they are bad in organization people who are good bad in organization uh, uh, people who are good in organization but they are bad in implementing and planning one or the other element is lacking right so i designed it in such a way that believe me these people the batch didn't allow me to take a break these people i thought like i would give a break in the 21 day challenge and these people didn't allow me to take a break now see the level of you know bonding that was created from day 1 to day not i'm not talking about the bonding between the human to human level of teaching the bonding of concept to concept these people didn't want to break it they said like even on sundays we want to connect now in the last 21 days i guarantee you so many good habits have been have been built in you know in this people yes. i'm not be saying anything this this is the this is something that these people have gave me the response yes now planning implementation organization i have broken every concept with examples with my real experience and i make to people act on the class itself there is an action packed plan followed by the concept followed after the concept and right after the class i will not say anything here is the guy who just said this guy 21 days he has shared me 21 breakthroughs am i right uh, satish absolutely absolutely right i am not guaranteeing it on my behalf like i am the one who created it no i did nothing i was like a very minor to minor connecting dot in the process but these people acted on it that's how they had 21 days 21 breakthroughs and i think nothing more validates it validates the process when a students are really proving it right to the mentor or the coach whatever you name them so that's how it has been designed 21 days be with me hold on to your patience for 21 days and see the magic unfolding right from first second third day itself you don't have to wait for 21st day to get that breakthrough or transformation you see it right, right from the first day is that making sense satish am i yes, saying yes, it right yes. or wrong exactly i think uh, this also validates one of our uh, concepts taught by our mentor you just have to show the direction to them you just have exactly. to uh, take that journey to them and uh, believe me it's not yes you shared a lot of concepts and, and they, those were those helped us to discover ourselves rather than okay this is something okay i'll implement okay kushal did this not it's not like that it came from within us it's not all the results came from within us we we were like i think many of us uh, in this challenge could relate to this fact that uh, we could tap into our own potential okay ye kaha chupa tha that kind of a uh, feeling was uh, that really came up with us and uh, uh, really th- i just want to acknowledge your the in the wonder and the magnitude that your program has we never imagined that it would do this much of change within us and uh, thank you for crafting such a beautiful journey for us before uh, before ending this i want to ask a very personal question and uh, uh, the thing is uh, many people around you be it your family your friends and including me you are all praying uh, for the uh, almighty that you will be able to see this world one day and uh, i just want to ask a very out of curiosity i just found out what is that uh, list of things that you want to do first and uh, i just want to know whether you would cut off from this world and go off or else uh, you want to continue this mission i just want to know because i know it's a very a uh, very emotional concept for you but i want to know what what's in your brain <laughs> you tapped it man um uh, 
Yeah, I have made a commitment on myself. Like, uh, okay, the, yes, there is a list uh, because I always visualize. I said that I always visualize. Now, with that questions, all the pointers right are in front of my eyes now. Yeah, the, the first thing, man. Obviously, man, I would. Uh, Oh, it's a beautiful. Yeah, I man, the first thing I would like to do is like, suppose, um, suppose like if I get my eyesight right now. Oh, God. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that, but, oh, shit. I, think control I should it, be man. the one to apologize you. <laughs> Maybe no, no, I'm really hard. sorry. Like uh, that's my commitment. I'm not. Um. No, uh. But uh, these are something can't control. But actually, uh, it has to flow one or the other day. First thing, man. Um. Uh, I would like to see my daughter. Yeah. I am keeping this above almighty because I'll tell you this fact. <clears throat> Every evening when I when I get like around 7, 7.15 I sit for my prayer. That's the evening time, right? Uh, I have the habit, habit of touching my parents' elders' feet. Okay, so and Kids till the age of 12, they are so pure, they are equivalent to God. Okay. And, you know, being blessed with a baby girl, it's a super amazing fact. Like, in Indian thing, like we consider daughters as Devi, right? Goddess. Maybe like Parvati, Saraswati, name anything. We, we just consider them as goddess. So, <clears throat> I started building this habit of touching my daughter's feet as well, you know, okay. doing the, uh, with the posture of Namaskar, bending with my, on my knees and touching her feet. When I first did it, first time, I don't know if that came out of my heart. Like, although I am her father, I like, I just like, there's a, so much of divine purity in this kid. You know, kids have that, right? So I touched her feet and I just said, like, I'm touching your feet. Although it was with a feelings involved with one kind of, you can say that. But that evening, she said, like, She said in Marathi, in the <clears throat> like the mother tongue, she said that and I'm not able to phrase it, man. Like it was so beautiful. She said, like, let Almighty give your eyesight back. Wow. I think wow. God is talking on. Uh, yeah, I, I trust that. I trust that. And since then, I'm touching her feet, and she repeats it every time. Like she repeats it every time in a mother tongue. Marathi says that. Tumche dole must throw there. Wow. I mean, I, I couldn't phrase it in English. I don't know why. <laughs> but, and the second thing, what I would like to do is drive car and go to the temple. Mm. So that I can see those murtis, those scripture, 
scriptures i don't know what are they called the murtis i want to see them which i have seen it's been years and years i visit temple <clears throat> then slowly i want to visit everyone in my list like i want to crazily roam around man roam around see this greenery see, see this road see those see those stones mud you know the 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 area where i live in my house the gate we just renovated us year back <laughs> you know my room which we renovated like the furnitures that we recently bought you know I want to play with my dog i want to see her face you know i want i want her to lick me on my face on my hand everything <laughs> and don't want to do all the crazy stuff man want to do all the crazy stuff the list is so high that can't but awesome man thank you thank you for asking that thank you i could visualize it awesome man actually i really have to uh, appreciate this fact that you are so grounded uh, as a human being and you find the happiness in the very little things in life and and that is something i think many are missing out we are blessed with lot of things that we have but we never acknowledge it we never uh, we never acknowledge this beautiful creation that we are uh, thank you for really shedding that light on that yeah. and i think our mentor also mentioned that uh, you might have lost your vision but you are a visionary and i just want to reiterate that once again and you are definitely a visionary kushal and you have been uh inspiring a lot of people around and uh, wish all the prosperity and the luck for you and i think you uh, thank you for being you even i'm getting a little <laughs> emotional but i think we'll just end it on a happy note and yes, it was yes. really uh, good to know this side from you as well kushal and it has been i am really uh, happy to have you as my first guest uh, in my interview wow. show because you have you hold a very special place in me thank you thank you <laughs> once again thank you for being you thank you man thank you so actually thank you for tapping into some areas um maybe uh, need of the time yes i mean <laughs> thanks thanks like uh, i'm sorry for being getting uh, those kind of, like getting emotional but <clears throat> but uh, actually it's uh, like all these elements make the real person what we are right it's not that being a male you can't cry or being a female you have to be always you know pressed under pressure pressure and all no we are humans right who knows like soul out of me can get into a soul of uh, into a body of female next year next birth <laughs> next year not next birth and who knows like a like a anything can happen right so as a person these are the elements what builds us like people talk about three niche i talk about i talk about the four pillars mm-hmm. spirituality health relationships wealth because spirituality is something i would like to connect on priority and on the top then comes my physical health and mental health and obviously when i'm doing that spirituality my mental health is stabilized and with that mental health physical health on automation it is stabilized so i don't have to worry on that obviously because on automation i'll have my food and everything with that the second thing is when i'm physically and mentally fit i take care of my relationships as relationships as well when these elements are stabilized i can focus more on my wealth part as well and everything is balanced there spirituality health relationships and wealth four pillars very very important awesome. yeah man thanks thanks for uh, calling me and thanks for tapping on the you know areas and bringing out the more reality out of me thank you thank you satish thank you means thank a lot thank you it was an honor for me from my side so with that uh, if you really like this video if you're watching this on facebook or youtube make sure you like and share your uh, what are your breakthroughs listening to kushal and and if you really want to work with kushal please uh, i'll be uh, sharing in the details in the link below as well so that you'll get to know 
how you can get to get close to kushal and work with him and uh, to get into his signature program so he's about to start his uh, next batch uh, very soon so until then this is me satish here your host keep impacting keep inspiring bye bye